Today I'll be showing you how to make this Christmas magic slider card using the new Kayser Craft Christmas papers. Pull it out, you get a beautiful coloured image, push it back in and you get a black and white image. So that's what we'll be making today. To start with you will need a pattern cut out of a 30 by 30 scrapbook page. You will need a piece of acetate. You will need a stamp positioner so you can know where to stamp. You'll need a little piece to write your message on the back of the card. You will need the white piece so that your image is black and white. And then you will need your coloured piece that you will be making as your coloured image. So to start off with, I've cut out my, my basic red shape. Now put your double-sided tape on the inside of one side, a thin double-sided tape on the other side, and on the front you'll need to put tape all around to stick your paper to it. So that will be our first step. Our second step will be to add your scrapbook paper to the front of the card. So I have done that to save time. Your next step will be to cut that image out. So I'll just finish doing that now. and we have it cut out. This will be our main basic card. Okay. We now have our card looking like that. We have our double-sided tape all on. We have our window open. Next thing we do is to attach the white piece of card to the back of your card. Just taking the double-sided tape off. and attaching it to the back section of your card. Okay. Now taking your double-sided tape off, Folding the flap in, the first pocket over with the thin tape on, then folding your second flap over. Now that is your completed card and when you look inside it's got a little pocket inside. Okay, now next thing we have to do is just punch a small finger hole in the front of your card. You can do this before you fold it up if it's easier for you to do. But we now have a small finger hole punched there. Next thing we're going to do is with a eyelet setter hole punch, we're going to punch two holes either side of the card. So either side we have two little holes punched. Then we're just going to try, this is the image I'm going to be using today. We have stamped with stays on, on an acetate sheet. Then we have used gold glitter 
embossing powder and glitter to make the image of the card. We're just going to put them together and make sure they fit. The stamped image goes to the back of the pocket and the acetate image goes on the front of the pocket. So when you're looking at it, that's what it looks like. Even it up. So you, your image and your paper is lined up nice and even. Make sure it slides. Nice and easy sliding. Line it up again and cut that extra off. So cutting off that extra there. We allow that so that you can adjust it when you put it in the card. So we now have it like so. Now we're going to set two eyelets in there and this stops the card from being pulled out of its little pocket. So we're just going to set two eyelets in there now. So there's our eyelet set in our card. So when you slide it up, it cannot be pulled out of the sleeve anymore. With a circle punched, the same size as the hole, we're now going to position, I've punched a little circle out of the paper, I've got some double sided tape on it, and I'm just going to position that now on the card itself. So we now have something we can pull the card up and down with. Put a hole in there for ribbon. Now we can decorate it with whatever we like. We could put maybe a Merry Christmas up there. Maybe some lovely berries along there. That's looking good. I also have got some red ribbon that I'm going to put through the hole so that you've got something to pull that little tag up with. didn't quite go all the way through, so I'm just going to re-punch it and put the ribbon through. Pulling it through and looping it through your card. Now we can just glue on the Merry Christmas, putting a little bit of glue on the back. Just remembering that we don't want it on the, on the acetate because the acetate needs to pull up with the other image. So we're just going to put that one on there. Job done. No, I'm not going to stick. Got that on there now. And we might put this one on. We might use the double sided tape to put that one on. Just a little bit either end. We're just going to layer that across, across the card. 
card. There's your card finished, but you would probably notice there's nowhere you can write on it. So we turn it over to the back, and with a shape cut out of your cuddle bug or any shape you, you'd like, you can, what size, what colour, what whatever you'd like. I'm just going to ink around the edge of it so it gives it a little bit of colouring. You don't have to do this but it looks nice. And then just pull off the backing. and put it on the back of your card. You can make it as big or as small as you like. You can stamp Merry Christmas on it and that gives you somewhere to write your message on the back of the card. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun.